guys, hello guys, Ninja Hani. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ulundi Wismelane. For those of you that are here for the first time, and if you've been around, welcome back. Welcome back, family. So yeah, today we are doing a foundation review, and this foundation, guys, has been around. I think it's like the, it's been around for a year now. I'm not sure. I think it's been around for a year now. And a lot of people have done reviews of this foundation but it was my first time encountering the foundation i think like three weeks ago and i've used it i think more than five times so i think i'm in great position to review the foundation because i've used it several times so before we go into the review of this foundation guys i would like also to have my opinion about what's happening in our country in south africa Guys, it's bad. The gender-based violence, it's so bad, it's so frustrating, it's so paranoid, and it makes everyone anxious, you understand? And the killing of women, it's... Kobe, guys. Kobe, Alangela, Les Manga, because I don't wanna think how we get in, how a person gets to that point because I think I'll be thinking for the entire time like my entire life I'll be thinking because I don't know what when they arrange and get logo but it's very very frustrating guys guys and it's very very bad it's very bad to a point that everyone around me is paranoid I am paranoid I am frustrated I don't know what to do not what not to do because I remember last week when I first heard about what happened last week i wanted to delete okay i did actually delete my instagrams delete my twitter accounts like all my social networks and how i did it guys because i was not coping like being a cope you guys i couldn't i couldn't cope because everywhere i turned what one and two and three and four happened one and two and three and four happened and i was so scared I was panicking. I was anxious. I was sweating. I was even afraid of opening my windows when I am feeling the heat because I was just like, I don't even trust what this badly guys are gonna work for me and stuff. Cause it is so bad and it is so sad guys to live in a country where you do not know what's gonna happen to you next. And to live in a country where every day you hear of a woman's killing one and two and three and four happened a woman missing a woman raped and killed and stuff and you actually I'm not gonna do anything because I remember I know what see people on radios and stuff are commenting that no we should buy tasers pepper sprays and stuff and it was like really guys is that the life that we should be living or would see in order for me to move around I should carry these things I should Always be cautious of everything that's happening around me. I hope you guys go bed. It's so bad. It is so bad. It is so bad. And I have nothing to say. My only prayer is that I hope and I pray that one day we could live in a country where we all feel free, where we all feel as if we belong where we won't be anxious anxious about our safety anxious about moving like like stepping out of the house Amon, because it's so sad and it's so hard and it's so painful you can't even say i'm going to a park and i want to relax and enjoy the park you can't do that i'm even afraid of going to the beach alone to just relax and stuff because things happen things happen i'm not sure what is Lampe people are sick or whatever is happening but it's so frustrating it's so sad and it's so bad and i hope that the lord hears our prayers and protects us and covers us because we are crazy now because i remember today i was like i went to the shop to get some few things and then this guy went by and he was like okay I was, just, okay, I was like, okay, Londi, calm down. Just relax, relax, relax. Okay. Okay, I carry on. And then he was like, 
and it made me so angry and furious and I was so sad and angry and frustrated Wooty just because you saw me and you think I'm beautiful from you seeing me and thinking that I'm beautiful you now declaring that I'm your wife you're even saying Wooty you I'm your wife just because you saw Wooty this is a woman that is beautiful and that I would want or that I think is my wife and even calling me a stranger your wife twice I fail to understand. I really didn't understand guys what he when Zagala and you like for nine point tini or for nine kulumin tini why you felt so an entire I don't like those jokes man. I don't like them because this is what makes I think this one makes people think that they own us. Yeah, well, for the fact that you don't know me and you see me and you're telling me that I'm your wife, why am I ignoring you? As and he was not even smiling, he was serious, like and I'm like really should I answer that and I get so angry guys because sometimes we smile and we joke about these things that people say can the people mean them some you will even find a person waiting for you outside the shop because they think you are their wife and they think that you can, they can just say anything to you and get away with it because you're just a woman that is pretty that they think they can call their wife. I don't like those jokes. I don't like the body jokes, the body talks because if I don't know you, I don't know you. you understand? So now we need to be that. Yeah, but I would we are cautious of everything around us because that's how unsafe we feel. Maybe he was just saying it jokingly. But to me, because I know how cruel the world that we live in is. Yeah, but I had to defend my and protect myself because I am afraid of men. I'm afraid of them talking to me. I'm afraid of strangers. I'm afraid of people that I know. And I said, and it shouldn't be like that because I doubt it would. It was meant to be like this. So I pray for a better South Africa, a safe South Africa, a place that anyone would actually want to be in and feel comfortable and safe enough in. So all right, we're moving on to our foundation. I know that the news that I was talking about, they're very sad. And now me personally, I don't wanna talk about them. I don't wanna listen to them because they frustrate me. But anyway, it's the truth. It's the sad truth. So we will be reviewing a super stay 24 hour full courage foundation. It's the Maybelline foundation guys. Um, so I checked out online what are they saying about the foundation and oh my gosh so but the uh, Maybelline Superstay full coverage foundation delivers 24 hour way for concentrated coverage and a flawless finish that doesn't fade or shift all day the benefits of this foundation to be your own professional makeup artist with Maybelline's full coverage 24 hour foundation. Saturated color pigment provide an ultra transforming effect in the long lasting foundation. The lightweight yet high impact coverage formula glides into the skin for a flawless makeup finish that lasts all day. It's oil free, doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested, tested. So, but here you can apply the foundation using your fingertips, using your beauty blender, Maybelline blender, or your brush. Alright, so I have like seven points that I'm going to be reviewing about this foundation. But before I go to, um, to these points, I would like to say that I struggled finding the color for my skin in this foundation. I went to like four different stores looking for my color. So I, I'm not sure if Abanya Bandana would they struggle the same way I, as I did to find this foundation because listen <laughs> it was not easy finding it. Finding my color was not easy because I don't think they have a range a link of my colors. Maybe a corner, but you have to look for it. Maybe I equal, I am not sure, but you can just look around and request for them as well to check for you where, where you can find it because, yeah, it was not easy for me to find it. So I have seven points that I need to review. 
number one foundation delivers 24 hour wear for concentrated coverage so does my foundation last for 24 hours number two the flawless finish that doesn't fade or shift all day um nobody wants a foundation that's gonna shift nobody wants that and then number three it's long lasting foundation number four the lightweight yet high impact coverage formula Number five, flawless makeup finish that lasts all day. Um, number six, is it oil free? And then number seven, is it okay for my skin? For my skin is all only. Um, how does it, like after removing my skin, do I feel any irritation? Because I have a very, very sensitive skin. So whatever I put on my face reacts. So we're gonna be reviewing what's here. How does my skin react to this particular foundation? Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. It looks so nice. I really, really like it. So yeah, let me apply my foundation. I'm gonna be using, okay, I've already primed my face. And then now, spraying the setting spray, the Maybelline 24 hour setting spray on my beauty blender. And then I'm gonna pump my foundation. Okay, just one pump for now. Okay, where's my mirror? One pump for now. Then I'm gonna be going So I have applied the foundation and it looks so good and so smooth. It looks so good guys. It's so beautiful. Like it's so beautiful. And in terms that I like the most is that I used one pump of my foundation and I still have foundation left behind. So yeah saver guys. <laughs> yeah saver because literally using one pump of foundation that means my foundation is going to last longer and that also means we'll see the coverage of my foundation is good so i'm going to continue um off camera to put everything else then i'm going to come back and tell you guys what i think of it and the points seven points that i made um what do i say about them and stuff Alright guys, so I've applied the foundation and in the that I like the most is that I used one pump of foundation and I still have this foundation left behind. So why not? Why not go for it? So okay, I'm gonna go off camera now and put everything else like highlight my face and all those things Then come back and then discuss those seven points. What do I think of them? Is the foundation good? What are the pros? What are the cons of the foundation? Is it worth it if I buy it? I'm coming back. Okay, so my entire look is completed and I feel so good. I feel so good I feel so happy with the outcome of my makeup and yeah so now we're gonna go back to those seven points that I made before and then tell you guys how do I think and feel about this foundation all right come back 22 hours later 24 hours later 25 hours later and I will still be looking this good the foundation guys you there is no point where it will be um what's the proper word to use i'm not sure but yeah when the foundation may go to for like half day and then you start seeing your skin under the foundation and then in some part you don't see the skin you see foundation and that but that, that movement of foundation that normally happens when you're using some foundations with this one it doesn't it's really a 24 hour foundation and after 24 hours you're still looking as good as you were before because even because i have a very oily skin so even after um, a long day i'm oily and all those things it still comes out good and the glow still comes out good so it's very good for for me and then indeed it is a 24 hour 
wear. Number two, a flawlessness finish that doesn't fade or shift all day. Like, nyabona, guys. Nyabona, at that point, I don't, don't even need to explain more. Nyabona, it's very flawless. And I didn't even use the entire pump of foundation. And to get this outcome of it, what more can I ask for? From a foundation and it's really good drugstore with a very, very reasonable price. Because this foundation is 198 So, for this coverage, it's everything. And then moving on to the next point, it's a um, long-lasting foundation. Lasting long, it does, it does. Excluding the fact that la, ex smile corner, nanga pants wa mehlo. Sometimes I have cracks. I know, not sometimes, not sometimes. All the times I have cracks. As my day goes by, I have to put on powders and all those things. So I hate that about the foundation. But anything else, it's good. It's proper. I love it. It does last long. All right, so number four, lightweight yet high impact coverage formula. So I'm not sure what's happening with my camera because sometimes it's light, sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's not dark. So I'm not sure what's going on. But yes, a foundation, guys, it is so light. Everyone, gentlemen, I don't even feel what I have these products on because it's that light, and it um it's full coverage. Like I poured one pump. And I didn't even finish it. And this is the final result of what I got. And even before contouring, guys, I had full coverage foundation. It didn't even feel like full coverage. It is so light. It's so beautiful. It sets well with my skin. It looks so good. It glows in some areas. And I love that about it. So, yes, it is lightweight. And it gives me full coverage. Number five. Flawless makeup finish that lasts all day. I've answered that. Number six, oil free. Yes, it is oil free, and that's a plus for me because I don't need easing that has oil or goes on because I have an oily skin already. Um, in these parts, so what I can say is that the foundation is oil free and it dries quickly. And I said, I'm a person who doesn't enjoy. Like a fucking foundation in my forehead. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't enjoy just like applying the foundation over my forehead. Maybe it's because I have eyebrows on, so I have to be careful that I do not. Yeah, but I'm not sure. But it is very oil free the foundation, and you feel that mostly when you're applying it because it dries so fast. So you you have to move very quickly because you end up having like dry patches of foundation on your face so just make sure that as you apply it you move very quickly so that you don't have like those dry foundation patches on your face and the last point how is this foundation on my skin it's so far so good guys because my ashula wood is dermatologically tested so very long my foundation they should be tested so it is very good on my skin um it doesn't itch and after wearing it, they don't have anything, any breakout and stuff. So it treat my skin very well. That's what I love about it. So yeah, that's all about the foundation, guys. Go buy it if you want to try it out. It's good. It's reasonable. So I don't think it would you be losing that much of your money if it didn't work out for you. Because everything that I use here that I say works out for me. It really does work out for me. I'm not sure if it's going to work out for you. But for me, it did work out. So I wanted to share a very inexpensive drugstore that is more accessible foundation that you can find that was good for me that I like, that I recommend, that I use sometimes. And yeah, see you next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.